More politics in Germany. Would you be surprised in the land of politics? I wouldn't be at all. Tesla has been forced to make changes to autopilot in Germany. Here is the news. Here's what's happened. And here's why I think this is happening. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. I just reported on Tesla's vehicle delivery numbers in Germany a few days ago. Tesla was a number one electric vehicle sales. Wasn't even close, of course. Yes, the Germans, they know that Tesla is ramping up its electric vehicle sales very quickly, probably quicker than what people realize, especially, especially those of you you have a particular distaste for Tesla, I think you're ignoring what's actually going on, that they are strategically making some very smart decisions, especially with battery supply. Battery supply, I believe, will be like gold. If you have contracts signed, deals signed with multiple companies, you will prevent the current situation of what we're seeing right now. Ford is saying, it's not our fault we didn't make enough Mac E's, it's BYD's fault. That's what they said. That's what they said. And that's what we've seen with GM. I mean, what's happened with General Motors, right? They stopped producing the Bolt, Bolt EUV, shut down the whole factory. An entire factory still paid for the entire workforce for eight months. That is a lot of money, right? When they're producing nothing. Why? Because they only have one battery supplier. Now imagine if GM in that factory, they had three different battery suppliers. That's what Tesla has for one factory. Three, three battery suppliers. They wouldn't have had to do any of that. They could have just said, okay, well, that's only 33%. Well, okay, CATL, you can take up the slack for LG Chem and we'll just keep on producing. They could have just kept on going rather than producing nothing at a cost of many, many millions of dollars. In fact, cost them billions of dollars of recalls. They could have kept on going. But GM is reliant on one battery manufacturer. Now that, in my view, is a big mistake. And I think they have to change. Ford has recognized that they need to change that. They are planning on changing it. They have in fact already changed that. Good move from Ford, GM needs to follow suit. They're relying too much on one thing. Obviously, same goes for other companies. That's one of the key reasons why ramping up production is so difficult. What's happened? BMW just signs a contract within the last what, 24 hours, basically saying Tesla's model is the right one. 4680 cells are the cells we want for our cars in the future. I was surprised to see that, I have to admit, but that's what's happened there multiple supply contracts from different manufacturers so they can actually try to really, really ramp up to compete with Tesla, who Herbert D said is is Volkswagen's number one con competition. He didn't say Mercedes. He didn't say it was, you know, any of the other German brands. He didn't say it was any of the European brands. He said the number one competition for Volkswagen was in fact Tesla. That's kind of scary. Once you start to see these vehicle delivery numbers start to climb up, in your own country, the country where you own the auto market, where you've owned the auto market for a long time, you start to go, hang on a minute, this is changing. Um, we don't have a whole lot of control over this because our battery manufacturing, our electric vehicle manufacturing, it's increasing, but just not fast enough. So what happens, right? Well, you know, a bit of politics happen. Politics happen in every country. I don't think it's a conspiracy theory when you're trying to protect your own market. The Germans are trying to protect their own market. I understand where they're coming from. They're pretty much kind of getting Tesla, taking Tesla court over just random petty things, things that are just like ridiculous. It's been happening for a long time, to be fair. But to be fair, to be fair to the Germans, they do this to everyone. They just love, they love going to court. They love politics. They love things taking, I mean, look at the airport. Look at the Berlin airport. It took 21 years to get built, 21 years. The longest airport to be built in the history of mankind. You know, it was probably quicker to build an airport back in like the 18th century when we did it with spades, shovels and things like that. Because why? Politics. Anyhow, Tesla's been forced to change autopilot in Germany over regulated pressure. So they've had to change features and they've been forced to by the Federal Motor Transport Authority or the KBA. Many don't know that Tesla's autopilot features are not the same in every country. They're different in different countries depending on regulations in that country. That's partly due to Tesla's approach that relies on data from its fleet to improve autopilot features. And a lot of that data is coming from North America and especially from California. For example, in China, Tesla hasn't done any upgrades recently because of 
these like laws in China going on. Tesla's sort of waiting to see what happens with these new laws. So yeah, different regulations affect different markets differently. Now the results of Tesla's autopilot training, according to Electric, I'm not convinced this is true, but they claim is that the results, this results in the system performing better in some places than it does in other places. Now, if you own a Tesla in a country that's outside of North America, or if in fact you've driven in North America and in other countries, so you can compare the two, let us all know in the comment section below if this is in fact true. Regulators are preventing Tesla from deploying some of its autopilot features in certain markets, including in Europe. Now, Tesla's autopilot is again being affected by regulations. According to the Federal Motor Transport Authority, they have found abnormalities. And so now they're trying to stall Tesla, trying to stall Tesla's progress. Essentially, that's what it is. The automaker reportedly partly fixed the issues with a software update, but there are still issues. This is what it said translated from German. In a Tesla investigation by the Federal Motor Transport Authority, which has been running since the beginning of the year, the electric car manufacturer can book a partial success. According to a KBA spokesman, the KBA carried out tests on Tesla vehicles as part of market surveillance and found abnormalities. They have now been already partially remedied by the manufacturer for the remaining problems. Tesla further remedial measures are still being tested and validated. The focus of the investigation is on the driver assistance system, Tesla Autopilot. KBA President Richard Dam commented on the situation. He said the agency is waiting for information from Tesla and might intervene if it doesn't receive it. If we don't receive any information, we cannot rule out that systems do not comply with the rules. Earlier this year, KBA had expressed concerns that Tesla's autopilot auto lane feature may be considered illegal in Europe. Now, I want to point out that almost every other brand has a similar feature now, auto lane change feature, but the only manufacturer being talked about where this should be banned is Tesla. They're not saying it about Hyundai and Kia, they have one as well. Mercedes have one as well. A lot of Mercedes features, people are saying it's like level three automation. Yeah, but you can't go any more than 40 kilometers an hour while you're using it. So it's not really. So yeah, there's there's all these things here going on, which I think comes down to politics. The reason I say that, I mean, come on. Some of you I'm sure have driven these new cars with auto land change features. They don't always work. In fact, they often try to steer you off the road. I'm sure you've had that experience. If you haven't, you just haven't driven a new car. New cars with these auto lane change features, auto, you know, auto cruise control, radar cruise control, all these kinds of automation features, they don't all work perfectly. If they did, you know what it'd be called? It'd be called full self-driving. It'd be called full automation. We don't have it yet. Nobody has it. In fact, every manufacturer is trying to get there. They're developing piecemeal bit by bit by bit. There is no manufacturer on the face of the earth that has a car that is truly safe all the time with their automation features in use. None of them are claiming full self-driving either, but they are claiming you can do hands-free this, you can do hands-free that, you can do hands-free this. You take your hands off the wheel and sometimes you do have to intervene. That's the case with every brand. But what I'm saying here is interesting is the German government are not investigating the other brands who do have similar issues. If you think they don't, your head's in the sand or you just haven't experienced those cars and you don't know reality. That's the truth. Now, of course, this kind of news sells. It sells here on YouTube. It sells everywhere. This kind of information, when it comes to Tesla sells, if this news came out and it was about Hyundai, no one would even know about it. So maybe there is an investigation on Hyundai and I don't know about it. I've Googled it. I can't find it. But maybe I'm not looking for the right German words. Maybe I need to write, find, maybe I need to do the right Google search. And maybe you guys know more because you're from Germany and you're watching the channel. I know some of you from Germany do watch the channel. So let me know if I'm wrong. And there are in fact investigations into most other brands which are selling features that don't always work perfectly, same as Tesla's in Germany right now. Please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to be educated. Thank you all for watching the channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.